Hey, let us shake our Hello, hands. Another, another brilliant episode to come, ladies and gentlemen. Extraordinary. That's right. Here we go. Oh. All right. Yeah. Do I do an arm wrestle? No, not I really. I hate arm wrestling, by the way. I don't particularly care for it myself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're here for a rare treat. Tonight is it's going to be, be a, a episode. brilliant episode. It's going to be mo movies that make us sick. Top 10 films that make us puke. Well, actually, it's going to be the t my top 10, and, and it's going to be 10, Chris's altogether. top 10. This but, uh, is 10 for each of us. Exactly. This is, in fact, going to just be it's an amazing... Be a lot of fun. It's just you're going to hear the These movies make me sick. the horrifying sounds of vomit, of sickness, of complete and total the wasted uh, the the, the oral here. defecation of puke and up chuck. That's yes. right. This is not an upstanding episode. This is our up chucking episode, and, if I may say. And to clarify, it's not movies that make us sick, meaning, oh, that movie's grotesque, like Human Centipede. No. Yeah. These are movies that... Well, actually, no, that's true. Human Centipede would have been a, a, a good movie to make us sick. Yeah, but, but, but we're talking about it in, in a sense that I don't like that movie, that movie sucks, or that movie's boring, or, or you don't get why no, this no, movie's no, a No, 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 that, that's not true. I that's think how you, I kind of look at it. I think you it. missed the essence of, of, of the, the sickness of a film. This is a movie that just, I can't even watch it because it's so, it's so, dis, it's so horrifying yeah, to me. Yeah, but it makes, makes you sick. You hate it. It sucks. But I not hate it. But, okay. it does, but you're, it doesn't necessarily mean that the movie's grotesque, meaning, oh, look at the violence or sex on display that's turning me off. Like human centipede would. Violence and sex. That's what turns me on. No, what what are you kidding is, me? People, we don't want people to think that this is, oh, we don't want to see movies that are gross out. No. Listen, These what? are just movies that we don't care for and with a passion. Like, I hate this movie. I just don't like this movie. I That's understand. what this is about. I understand. I, I get it. You know? okay. So people understand what they're well, going to have in store uh, here. This afternoon, I was watching one of my favorite films, of course, which is Girls of the Double D. Well, of course you uh, are. Volume 34. I, I love have that. Have you seen all 34 it, volumes? I, well, I've seen, well, there's more than 34 volumes oh, now. Well, let oh, me tell you. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Good to hear. But all right. We're going well, we're to gonna, begin to begin. We're going to tonight, start guys. the show. That's right. Uh, okay. Um, Why don't you go first? Should I go first? Yes. First, I want to make a little reference to the face mask well, worn by told him I'm sick. Mr. Picard. I actually here. do have a little bit of a cold tonight. He does. And this man is the biggest hypochondriac on earth. No, that's not true. And so I'm doing this to prevent him from getting sick. I know he'll be sick for six weeks if he gets sick. I will be sick for six weeks. It's, so he uh, says. it's very true. He, he's been with me an hour. He thinks he's already getting sick. He's I can't like, believe I'm, I'm already, already getting sick. sick. Ah. He's absolutely nuts. Well, looking at him makes me puke a yeah, little. Exactly. I do throw up a little in my mouth. No, just it's because you're seeing, seeing your reflection him. in my, bo my uh, forehead. Yeah, that's well, that could seeing. be. Well, I could and show home movies on that forehead. So uh, hey, I'm, I can be of service. Well, all right. This is, ladies and gentlemen, these are Let's movies that make us puke. Yes. Not just sick. Make us want to puke. There Look. we go. There he is. Look at him puking. puking. Look at that guy. Ooh. He's puking a big oh, mess. What is that there? Uh, that is true puke, my that's friend. That's disgusting. That is absolutely. Look. Ooh, look at those pictures. <laughs> Lying right in. Very nice. <laughs> oh, that's just horrible. You really went there. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I give it all. Very you know, good. Very I'm not good. just here for the for the good looks and the show nice. and the and the incredible witty repartee. Yes. I'm here to actually put my face in the puke. Yes, you and did. And let you see me for what I am. You went a little I, further than I, I did. I know. Can I'm... we show my picture? Mine's pretty okay. tame compared can to that. Can we see? Uh, can we see Chris is probably Mine's very tame. doing a selfie at, at the bowl here? That's the toilet. Pretty simple. I there you go. Simple. That was good. Now That's... something you should have something like crawling out of the bowl. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have time. I think that would have been an incredible feat of. It um, would have been nice. Of true pukiness. I didn't feel like doing uh, that. But uh, yeah, that was actually. Uh, um, that was a grim thing that well, I... Well, what did you use, though, for your uh, puke there? Uh, soup? Uh, I did actually use uh, Campbell's uh, Fettuccine Alfredo soup. Yeah, that's a real soup? That's yeah. disgusting. I, that's what I thought. Why would you buy that? Oh, you, I, you, you know just something, went to buy the most disgusting thing you could thing think of? That thing had been in my pantry, I'm not kidding, about 10 years. Take a look. There we are. I bet no, you that I, smelled disgusting. Well, what I did you was... You almost probably puke. I did almost puke, and this is true. Um, you'll notice I had it in my mouth. You'll see it dripping yeah, from my disgusting. mouth. Yeah, that's disgusting. But what I did was this. I boiled it so that it was warm. Oh. I didn't want to just put a cold can of soup oh. in my mouth. But look at this. You look were, at him lying you really face down. Extra mile, and I have to say I this. I have to applaud that. Effort. Well, thank you. Good effort, you, Thank sir. you, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. You know, I give it my all. I wasn't going to. You know, that far. I'm I'm the I'm the puke I'm the puke you master. Are. You are. This week I am the puke master. You really are. Uh, and I just want to say a little compliment to one of our men in charge here. Uh, Sir Adam, if you're listening to Thanks this, always, I just want sir. to say this to you. I emailed him the photographs, and he said, these are fantastic. <laughs> I was so proud. I really That's was. Awesome. 
So, Adam, uh, a brief, uh, a brief uh, uh, a thought process of uh, my hat going off to you. Yeah, uh, my very nice. I know I was very excited. No, about no, this I segment. thought that was really amazing. And uh, so, okay, we're going to go right into it. Game. I'm going to start with number ten. Number ten. Number ten. Okay, somebody is sitting there, and they and, and they might be prepared. The Michael Mann film. Uh, Starring uh, yeah. Robert De Niro. I knew you were going to do this. You I, told me you were going to do this. Kilmer. Well, you know something. Uh, it's One of not, my all-time favorite movies, too. It's just a movie it's that just I, I, it doesn't actually make me puke. I have to say no that it doesn't make me puke. I just find this it's movie boring, so right? boring. Oh, it's that's three too bad. hours long. It's two hours it's and just, fifty minutes. It's two hours and fifty minutes. It's almost three hours oh, long, no. and it's horrifying it's a to shame watch. You like it's miserable. Film. I love Val Kilmer. I love Michael Mann, the director. But yeah, there's just something about this movie, and I it's think not for you. That's you know, fine. probably one of the reasons that I did put it up here is because I know you love it. I know as it makes much for as a you do. Segment. So it makes for a good little. You know, you know, what's, you know what's funny okay. is that I'm sorry, you, Olga super fan, who says, "How can we take your Olga opinion Superfan, seriously?" Olga super fan, I appreciate your love for this film because well, let this, me tell you, Olga super fan. Top five. Oh, Olga super fan. This movie is so boring to me. If you here, you got two great guys: I Al Pacino, know. Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer. Thirty central actors in, it. in this film. Amazing. Who's the girl in this? Not Mary Elizabeth Mastrantanti. No. Well, you have no. You have Who's Ashley Judd. Yeah. She's in no, this the, film. No, the the Italian girl. In this film? Yeah, yeah. There was no time. Yes, is Diane there is. Venora, No, sir. She's in it. Ashley Judd's mistaken. in this film. Yes. Um, and uh, uh, judging Amy's in this film, Amy Brenneman. That's They're, her. Amy Brenneman. Amy Brenneman. That's not yeah. Italian, though. Well, she's Italian. She looks Italian to me. I think Amy yeah, Brenneman is an Irish name, I think. Uh, she might be a Brenneman. Yeah, that, that but might be right. But this movie has more she name actors than I can it. possibly... It's, it's, but it's she's amazing. A, she's a cute little lass. Yes, yeah, so she is. But, uh, all right, so there you go. I'm terribly sorry, Olga Superfan, but yes. He doesn't like Ten is a movie I just don't like. It's okay. I can't really say it makes me puke, however. All right. So I'm going to... You put it on there just for fun. I put it on there just as a bit of a, a goof and just to uh, basically, but uh, here's the here's the honorary puke sound. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> this thing's really annoying to wear. <laughs> Maybe you should put that bag over your head for a couple minutes. Yeah, you know, I light. wouldn't mind at all. Pull David Carradine on us. There you go. Yeah, David Carradine. <laughs> It's really not a nice sensation. I've done you know, that as a what kid. what a horrible way it's to terrible. die. I know. You know who died like that? There was a great author by the his name was Jerzy Kaczynski. Oh. He wrote a he wrote a novel called The Painted Bird. Yes. This man was so depressing and so oh, miserable. You told me about this before. Oh my God! I, I'll tell you something. Uh, he an amazing guy, but he's one of those people who literally sat in the bathtub, put a bag over his head, and uh, that's pretty horrible. That's it, folks. All right. You know, well, you die via your own uh, carbon monoxide. I know it's it, terrible. It's really a horrible <clears throat> thing to do. All right, All so right. you're number so 10. So we're going to go to my number 10 right now, got? if they would like to show it to us. Chris's number 10 choice. It should be coming up on the screen. Batman and Robin. Okay. You know, it's a pretty commercial, you know, mainstream choice. And I can't, I just can't uh, watch this film. It's, it's pretty it's, bad. It's very bad. It's very bad. No, it's very bad. It's, um, there's not many things on this movie that I can recommend. Yeah. Everybody in this film uh, overacts, in my view. I agree. I don't think anybody in this film thought they did a good job. They've well, all apologized for being in this it's movie. It's a hodgepodge it of really nothing. It really is a mess. You don't really get the real Batman feel in this film. No, it's, so, um, uh, it's, it's just a colorful mess. It's the puns are horrible. It's terrible. And George Clooney, I, I think, was probably a really bad choice. Yeah, he's Batman. even said that he was he a has, bad choice. He has indeed. He's, he said when this came out, somebody offers you the chance to play Batman, you don't say no. Right. Even if you feel deep down that you're not the right person. And to he play told role. his brother that he was going to do it, and his brother was so impressed and so yeah, honored that, that, that wow, really, you're going to play Batman. But yeah. uh, it's not yeah, a great it's, movie. It's the great the great only film. good thing about this, I do believe, uh, Uma Thurman's in this film. Uma it is Thurman. covered by our, our little pick there, but yeah. Yuma does play uh, Poison, Ivy. Poison Ivy, and I love Honestly, Yuma Thurman. Honestly, I'll be honest, I love her too, but I think she overacted way too much in this film too. Really? I think everybody well, did. Well, I don't think that's anybody's fault, as we it's all know. It's Joel It is fault. a comic book film. It is, but it was too but, much. But, you know, Joel directed the, the other film with Val Kilmer. He did and, part three. Uh, he yeah, did which the one was fine. Val, which I like. Yeah, Nicole was fine. Kidman, yeah, I like Val that Kilmer film. was great. This film, like, he dropped too much acid or something. I don't know. Maybe so. But, you know, I don't... You know, too many parts, too many parts. I can give everybody a pass for it. I don't dislike anybody for doing this movie. Okay. I love a lot of Joel Schumacher films. I still am a fan of his. Yeah, me too. I just think that this Although movie is Although I hated that, the phone booth. He did that movie, phone the phone booth. The phone booth was an experiment that I didn't think was that great. Oh, yeah. I didn't care for I that. give him credit for trying something different, but it wasn't okay. great. No. All right. Um, there's a little bit of a piece of trivia about that movie. 
Do you know that um, the voice on the phone in the final release? Yeah, you told me this. It was clear. It was uh, Kiefer Sutherland for the release. Okay. But when the film was in production, originally it was another actor. Was it uh, Brian Cranston? Nope. It was Ron Eldard. Oh, who was a guy that was known for he, um, Chicago Hope, and he was in Deep okay. Impact. He played one of the astronauts, that, the one that goes blind. Okay. He's been in a, a lot of stuff. But, well, um, let's keep moving on here anyway, because yeah, we're, so we're we slowing go? down. So uh, we're going to move on. We're, gonna we're go going on nine. to my next puke fest, number nine. There it is, the ladies wins. and gentlemen. You know, this you know, film I've heard is just. A lot of things about this movie. This never film seen is it. so god awful. I've heard it's terrible. That I just want to give an honorary puke. As I sit here right now. Yeah. This film is just god awful. I'll year. tell you something. There was a young actress, by the way. Uh, her name was, this movie came out in 1978. Yes. And there was a young girl who actually had played the Wiz on Broadway. Her uh -huh. name was Stephanie Mills. And she was a, exactly the right age. She was in that 19, you know, Dorothy is a young person's role. Mm -hmm. Diana Ross was like 35 at the time, mm -hmm. and Diana Ross insisted that if you let me play this role, I will bring Michael Jackson in as the scarecrow. So it was kind of like the old, you know, Donald Trump, right. uh, you know, <laughs> you give me the wall and I, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll bring the parents with their kids back uh -huh. there. It was basic blackmail. So they said, okay, but I'll tell you, this film is so horrible. It, it's it just, it's not fun. It's not anything. It truly is, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a movie that I just want to, I just, I really want to let fly. I just want you to know that this is a puke number nine. <laughs> this film is just god awful. It truly, truly well, is. Well, now we have to watch it. Thank All right, let's go to Chris's number nine, ladies number and gentlemen. Number nine, ladies and gentlemen, is a critically acclaimed, acclaimed, acclaimed. Oscar-winning film, The oh. English Patient. Oh, you're kidding me. Yes, this movie is one of the most boring movies I've so ever seen in my life. So this is your heat. This is my heat, I this guess. This is your heat. Yeah, and this is not a bad movie. It's very well made. I understand why it won the Oscars. The actors did a great job. Yeah. I just found this movie to be so slow to sit through. I don't, I've never wanted to see it again. Really? I didn't want it to win Best Picture when it came out. And it's just a movie that I, I just I just don't get it. I don't, I don't, I can't sit through it. Right. Along with Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, it might be the slowest film. You know, I've, I've never seen. seen Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. You gotta I watch really it once should. because I it's so damn it. slow. And it was and and Clint was doing all these uh, novel esque. Yeah, yeah. He was taking you know, novels, turning them into made, films. Very well made, well acted, but it's just so slow. But you got Ray Fiennes in there. I know he's great. And a they're man, both great in this film. A man but it's who so can't slow. say his name properly to save his own life. I know. Is it Ralph? Fiends? No, no, it's Rafe, it's Rafe Fiennes. Fiennes. I know, it's Give weird. me a break, Rafe. Can't you do anything? You, if you can't get the first name right, can't you get the last one right? But I'll tell you something. I did watch this film. Yeah, I and saw it when it came out. I, it was heart-wrenching. It, it, it was, heart But it was so stupid. He leaves her in a cave yes. and says, I'll be back. As, and, I'll, and she's laying there dying, right? And he says, I'll be back as soon as I can. Well, he gets back home, and he's a mess. He's 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 all burned mm -hmm. beyond belief. Mm -hmm. So they they put he's got a heel. What are you what are you looking at? I'm looking at you. But you keep looking at my shirt like I'm gonna puke on it or Maybe something. Maybe you will. Maybe I will puke on it. No. But uh, but anyway, so uh, so he has to go back and he's a burn patient and uh, they they heal him and so forth. So it's like mm -hmm. months later. I mean, like six months later, he goes back, and she's dying to begin with when he leaves her there. Yeah. But at the same time, we, the audience, we're hoping against hope I know. that somehow little little Kristen St. Thomas is going to be Scott Kristen Thomas. Scott Thomas yes. is going to be alive. Yes. I saw Kristen Scott Thomas once at the airport too. How was it? Yeah, she's about three foot eight. She's a little girl. I said, hey, yeah, uh -huh. uh, you know, uh, if you'd like to marry me, I, I'd be happy to. Oh. But uh, no, she Too was. Too bad she turned it down. Huh? She really was. Uh, she's very cute in, no, in she's person. Great. She's I like she, her. I mean, she's a great actress. I loved too. her in uh, most recently in Darkest Tomb Raider. Hour. She's in Tomb Raider. She's in that too. Yeah. Well, she played Winston Churchill's. Uh, she played right. Gary Oldman's wife. Hour. That's but what she I just plays. Said. Uh, she plays Alicia Vikander's uh, uh, aunt. In Tomb Raider. Evil yeah. aunt yeah. in the yeah. new Tomb Raider. Yeah, she so. Does. But, there we uh, go. Yeah, I mean, it's a well-made film, well done. But I'm I surprised just, you put it on your it's list. It's just boring. Uh, I am, I'll never uh, want to see it again. You know, when I was, I had a very, it was a, it was kind of a challenge to come up with this list because I was researching a lot of these lists of most hated movies. I, I know. spent a good. Well, I saw Batman uh, and Robin was on every one of them. Yeah, that's probably one of the few that I actually kind of agreed with because a lot of times, a lot of those movies are like, 
unjustifiably hated. Yeah. Titanic was on a bunch of those lists that I found. Yeah, I, I yeah, couldn't believe that one. Departed. Avatar. Avatar. All over you the know, place. A lot of those lists are just stupid. How can that be? It's the and number I, one film of all go, time, you Avatar. Know, I know, and I was, I said to myself, no, that just hurts these me. are. I have to go with movies that I just, you know. In my gut, I in know I never want to see again. Your gut that you wish to alleviate, which there's you something about the movie that I just don't like. You want you to know? orally defecate yes. your your inner vomit self. I do. When but you I, see this kind of film, I can't say that you really feel that way about the English Patient. I think you're just apathetic about it. No, I just uh, I just don't get. I just didn't love it when it came out. I didn't love. But it you got didn't the really Oscar. see it. Did I you saw see it the I whole saw thing? The movie when it came out. I read right, it in when the it theater. First came on video. Oh, did you? Of course. Yeah, I wouldn't put a movie on you I haven't seen. I just didn't love oh. the film, okay. and, I, and I just didn't ever want to see it again. And for me, that's part of right, way well. my choices is that if I don't want to ever watch it All again. All right, let's go to the videotape. Let's go for Daryl's <laughs> number eight. Here we go. There we go. Oh, bad, bad Santa, Santa too. too. Now here's a movie. movie this movie, you know, <laughs> this film is so horrible. And I'll tell you why it's horrible. And the way it real <laughs> It really makes me want to puke. This film in specific. The first Bad Santa, if you watch the un there's an uncut yes. version. The unrated version of Bad Santa 1, is it, it takes away a lot of the humor. Mm -hmm. I think Billy Bob Thornton is, is very funny in this film. I do. I like the little elfy guy, yeah. and I like his little fat uh, nephew. Pardon yes. me, his uh, weight-challenged uh, mm -hmm. nephew, yes. Yes. Uh, who is there in the film. But Bad Santa 2 is just so mean-spirited. Throughout the whole thing, there's not barely a laugh. It's just him downgrading and being miserable to everybody in this mm -hmm. movie. I, I didn't find any of it funny. I did like the appearance of, uh, of uh, Christina Hendricks is in this film, and mm -hmm. she's always, uh, she's, you know, that's like uh, <clears throat> Cinerama to me, yeah. that woman. She's just a, 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 she's a, a lovely lady, and I, I actually do like her as an actress. But uh, anyway, um, it's just a bad film. It's just it, it's one of the worst. I I think I did review it. Yeah, you said to you. you. Watch it. I'm uh, like, this I'm had to be about a year now. or so ago. Yeah, it's just a miserable downbeat yeah. movie. There's nothing. You said it was very mean. -spirited. It did yeah. horrible at the box office. Yeah, also, it did. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let us go. Yeah. Let's move on now to Chris. Number uh, number, number eight. eight. There we go. It is a stinker from the year 2000. Oh yes. Battlefield Earth. Well, you know. This movie. Is well, wait a minute. I thought, I, I, I thought you were going to go for Battlestar Galactica. No, that's that's not t that's a TV show. Oh, that's a TV show. No, but yeah, this is the Travolta. This is Travolta. Gotcha. You know, the, the Scientology movie that they thought was going to be a okay. big hit. They had franchise, uh, you know, hopes, and they were planning all these. They had a whole toy line. I mean, this movie is okay. god awful. Does this movie really make you want to so puke? It's so terrible. Does it it's make so you want to puke? It's so, it's so. The acting is so bad. It's so overdone. Yeah, it's just terrible. You well, know, but, you know, I, but at the same time, I almost want to say you kind of got to see it to believe it. Oh, really? Because it's I did just see so it. hammy. No, I saw the film. It's a very hammy movie, too. Um, it's just not great. The dialogue's terrible. It, 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 and it's not even something that could have been great. And, you know, to update that whole, just to bring this great. full circle, Mr. Revolta is now in the film Gotti. That's getting got awful That is reviews. getting yeah. Gotti awful reviews. Yeah. It is just supposedly one of the, the worst the pieces of trash. The review I read in, I think, I forget what, what paper it was in, what online article. Uh, yeah. It said, um, in this movie, Travolta is hoping that this is going to be his Don Corleone. <laughs> it's actually his Chef Boyardee. That's kind <laughs> of funny. His Chef Boyardee? That's what they said. It's his Chef Boyardee. Comparing uh, I the don't, two I don't even get the joke, though. What's the joke? It's a Chef Boyardee. Well, you know what Chef Boyardee is, right? Yes, it's a canned spaghetti. Canned spaghetti. But how does that relate to Don Corleone? Because he thinks it's going to be his his role that oh, he's okay. going to be remembered oh, for. Okay. Don Corleone. No, it's your Chef Boyardee. Oh, okay, we're going the, we're the opposite end of the of Italian course. spectrum. Exactly. I yeah, understand. Yeah, the opposite end. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, well, I, I can't say Ch Battlefield is really terrible. You know, he is getting worse. And he was the it's worst thing about that great. OJ. Uh, he played... Uh, Robert Shapiro. He played Robert Shapiro. Yeah, and you I, know, I thought, I thought he, was he did awful. a decent job, but I don't think he was the right actor for the role. Yeah. And, you know, I still like John. I still do. I always I do like too. John. I do, You know, he's done some really good movies in the last 10 years or so. No, I know. The one that I liked the most that I saw was The Hunting Season, him and De Niro. That was pretty okay, good. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I liked that one. And then he and uh, there was a bunch of other guys, and they got on motorcycles. And, oh, I didn't uh, see that one with Tim that Allen. Was, that wasn't too you bad. You liked that one, yeah. I did. It wasn't yeah. horrible. Wasn't uh, they, they just, Chris Rock in that, too, or uh, something? Possibly. I don't think so. No, no, Martin no. Lawrence. There you go. Martin Lawrence. Might have been Martin Lawrence. Yeah. But anyway, they just and get on bikes. And Whitney Spacey was in that, too. 
Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't remember. Uh, was that called Wild Hogs? Possibly so. I think that's what that was. Yeah, it wasn't horrible. Yeah, I didn't get to see that one. But okay. But um, yeah, pass the Battlefield Earth, guys. Two thumbs down. There you go. Well, all right, let's, let's go on to my number seven. Here we go. We have a double feature. Ooh. I do like the way they put both of these films together. Very nice. Brilliant, brilliant uh, collage. Very nice. Uh, interpretation there, uh, people down in Very our nice. wondrous control room. Who, uh, who just incredibly, and yeah. I do like the way they put Sex and the City on the left, and then Sex and City, City two, 2 on the right. I did see the first one. Yeah, not that great. Well, I'll tell you, uh, yeah, the I liked, first I one. I like the show. I actually watched uh, the show. I'll, I'll tell you, on. the first one is Citizen Kane compared to the, the second, second one, one, because the second one is so, it's so horrible. Uh, they go to, like, some Arab country. Yeah, they go to another country. They yeah, go to I another country. I, I, it's just not Funny, it's and of not course, she runs into her ex boyfriend there, yeah, uh, right. who Mr. happens to be there. Mr. Big. You know, the other, yeah, yeah, there was the other guy. Mr. Too. Big, Peter, Peter North, Peter, uh, not uh, Peter North, um, he is Mr. Big no, in the porn um, world. Chris uh, Noth. Chris Noth, there yeah, you he go. He was there, right? But yeah, yeah, uh, you know, it's just worthless. Uh, and that other guy, Aiden, was course, there too. And of course, uh, they have not done a Sex in the City 3, and I doubt they will. This film came out in 2010. Uh, the first one, I think, was like 2005. Roughly. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, I actually did like the show. I did too. Uh, my wife I and I would sit and watch the show each yeah. week. Uh, we enjoyed it. It was just, you know, it was a little sexy. Uh, there was, uh, uh, you know, Sarah Jessica Parker uh, <laughs> doing her, her shtick. Yeah. I thought it was kind of a fun show. It was entertaining. And Kim Cattrall was the slut. And, yeah. uh, and, uh, and uh, I love the brunette over oh, there. Yeah. She's, she's my, she's my, my personal favorite. favorite. Kristen Davis. Kristen yeah. Davis. She's, she's like the baby lovely. Woods, you know. Then we have our, uh, our lesbian Nixon. lady, the uh, Cynthia Nixon, who just recently tried to run for well, She's still governor. running trying. No, no, she, she lost. Oh she, oh, she dropped out. She oh, the, dropped out. No, oh, because she of the lost. primary results. The primary That's results, right. uh, yeah, she yeah, didn't yeah. make it. But of course not. I, I got to hand it to her, though. But, uh, you know, these films, uh, I, I got to say the first one maybe shouldn't be there. I just kind of lump them in together because they're, uh, <clears throat> you know, when they try and make a movie, uh, even like the X File film, you know, they try to make they an X File those, movie. Yeah. Uh, they just never seem to quite get it because yeah. you can't really continue a film mm. from the series. You have to make a separate film that can stand on its saying. own. Yeah. No, you're right, you're so right. very often the script is just kind of all over the place. It's a generalization know, it of is. the concept of what the show is supposed yes. to be, yes. and and that's exactly what Sex and the City is. They they try to be they try to just stereotype their characters specifically in number two. Uh, and number two is exactly you know we shouldn't it have gone into the puke. Two. We shouldn't have gone into the puke line. We should have gone into the number two. Yeah. We should have had Chris at the toilet bowl. You know, literally squatting on the bowl for the Sex in the City outdoors, I guess? number two. Yeah, yeah, I'd be in the backyard, uh, kind of defecating on that yeah, one. Because you are a beast, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. My Let's go seven. to Chris's number seven. Let's go, lucky number seven. There we go. The happening. Oh, well, Dead there you night, go. Shyamalan's worst film, in my opinion. Well, a uh, the lady in the water. It was tough. It was tough for me to pick which one. Well, you'll I see. I went with this one because when I saw this in the theater, the entire movie theater was laughing the entire time. It's a horrifying piece of junk. And it's not what you junk. want in a horror movie. I, I agree. You don't want laughter the entire time. I'll never forget. And I saw... A, this movie's horrendous. Mark Wahlberg was on a show. It was yeah. Jimmy Fallon or something. Yeah. And he was hyping <clears throat> this show. He was there to do it. And he said, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, because of the village yeah. and uh, so forth, uh, M. Night Shyamalan was getting a lot of bad flack. And, and, you know, let's face it, he literally has been surviving all these years off the cusp I know. of the sixth sense. Success, sense. pretty much. But then again, I think lately he he's kind of made a of return. Films, though. Uh, no, he had that great film, The Visit, which was about the little yeah, kids going to visit Grandma, one. who throws them in the oven. She's basically... But I liked Split. She's, I like Split, Split also. I like uh, Signs quite a bit, and I liked Unbreakable. Uh, and oh, Success. I didn't like Unbreakable. That was I just ridiculous with that coincidence. Yeah, uh, but it was entertaining. Uh, it was I horrifying. That, that was just bad. And I like Sam Jackson. But I did like in that film, there was a whole serial killer yeah, there was. Uh, part yes. with uh, Bruce Willis. Yes. That I did enjoy. Yes. But basically, M. Night, I got to say, he's, uh, he's just one of the worst. Uh, well, no, you that, will find that I lumped uh, three of together, his films yeah. together but yeah, the hap the happening, one of though, my numbers. It's just one of those films that, you know, okay, you had a concept that could have been cool. It was more of like a Twilight Zone episode more than anything. Yeah. But it didn't have any of the class of a Twilight Zone episode. No. Oh, it's oh my God, guys! The wind is blowing the trees. Run for your life! I know, I know, I mean, it's so just, horrible. But I there was, was laughable. I didn't actually. And I feel bad this. for everybody involved. I know, know, but 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 Mark Wahlberg was saying this is film is frightening. No, it's oh, not. Oh, it's gonna you're gonna.
going to it's going to wake up a lot of people. It was basically a film about global warming, is I what know, it was it's trying to the, be. The planet is rebelling against right. the people. They, you know? they, exactly, yeah, and trees are now killing us because we're killing the trees. Yeah. So now they're going to try and kill us. No, you thank know? you. Only if they turn into the trees in the Wizard of Oz. What do you yeah. think? My apples aren't what they're supposed to be. Yeah, he throws yeah, the yeah. apples at Dorothy and the gang. You know, if, if only if trees actually could come to life and, and murder us, would uh, a film like The Happening actually Have take some on some, some yeah. credence? Yeah. yeah. So, all right, uh, let's move all on. All right, let's move on to Daryl's number six. Oh, you love Ladies this movie. and gentlemen, Spotlight. Now, I believe I saw this film with you. We saw the theater together. We saw this film and together. We went to the Palisades. We did, then we went to get a coffee yeah. afterwards, and you were complaining about this I movie. I complained about the film the entire time. You this still complain about this you movie. You know something? I, I got to say, in, in retrospect, this film came out in 2015. It was Best Picture. Yes. Uh, and uh, they're, they're just the, the, it's, it's about the Catholic Church, and of course, we all know about the Catholic Church. You know, how do you separate the choir boys from the priests? With a crowbar, of course. That's how you separate them. Uh, so, uh, and this basically is about the Boston Globe, mm -hmm. who is doing specific research on the Catholic Church and yes. all the crimes against the young people, the altar boys, the altar girls. They, bro they broke if the you story. Will. You know? They broke the story. Yeah. And, but, you know, this has been an ongoing thing in the Catholic religion. When you make For people. For a long time, yeah. Well, precisely. When you, when you bring people into a celibate lifestyle, uh, specifically men, more yes, so than women, yes. uh, you know, in the nun world, uh, the women can seem to resign themselves yes. to, you know, uh, a non-sexual lifestyle, but it, very often the men cannot, uh, obviously yeah. so, because they keep yeah, rebelling against their church And it's not based church in anything ethics. that's in the Bible. It's about the church wanting to have all of you. They want to control you as a priest. They want your full devotion. Yeah, but there are sexual urges specifically on display. No, I, there is. No, but my point is, is that there's nothing in the Bible that says you have to be celibate to be a priest. Keep that thing on it's your all, face, will you it's please? It's all about the church wanting to have all their priests to themselves and control them. Wow. It has nothing to do with no, anything No, I disagree in the with you. There's nothing in the scripture that says you have to be celibate to be a priest. Uh, it's not in the Bible. It's about controlling all of the man. Well, they want you. They want to have you as a priest. Your full if attention. that is the truth, then why don't they just go out and date? Many priests, though, do resign them. There are certain sects of the Catholic religion. A Catholic priest, he cannot get married. The Catholic if no, he's Catholic married cannot. before he becomes a Catholic priest, that's okay. See, I, but I he didn't cannot think you could be marry. Married no, no, he cannot marry. But if that were the case, if what you're saying is true, why don't they just go on a dating site? Why don't they just? Ask a woman. No, these guys are going after kids 99.9% .9 of the time. It's a, there is a power issue there, but it's a pedophilia specifically. Yeah, there is. That's yeah, but, what the but that Boston has nothing to do Globe with the fact that, but, you, but you were trying to dispute the fact that I said that there's nothing in the Bible that says you can't uh, you know, Listen, can't have sex. there's so many is contradictions it, in the Bible. I mean, there is, no, but my point is uh, the whole rule is based in bullshit, it's about control. That's the only reason that they tell them they can't be married and I, have kids. I disagree it's to the some extent. the church wants to control every aspect of a priest's life. I disagree. I think that these priests who are resigned to a life of celibacy, uh, I, I think that they're going after the least, uh, the place where they're going to get the least resistance, and that is with young children. I'm not disputing that. You're, you're totally missing my point. I'm, what I'm saying is the point... The only point I see is no, covered you, by you, a you're hair. You're not even listening to my point. Go, tell me your no, point. What I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not disputing why the priests are having sex but with But you're saying boys. it's about control. I don't believe it's about control. No. I believe it's about urges. No, I'm not getting you. See, you're not listening to, to what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. You have not heard my point. My point is the reason that the church says that a priest cannot be married or have sexual relations, the celibacy... That is based on the church wanting to control all elements of the life of the priest. Oh, oh I, okay. That's my point. All right, that, That's I what I'm saying. Okay, that is correct. I'm saying that there's nothing in the Bible that says to be a priest in yes. the Catholic Church. No, no, no. You have okay. To be all right, I did miss That's that point. That's what I because you're not because you don't well, listen when no, I talk. No, no, no. I was listening to, to you, but no, I, I was going right directly yeah, to no, my no, own. I'm not disputing your no, urge. No, no, I apologize. We know why the urge is there. No, I apologize. Because of the celibacy clause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's not. That's not because of the celibacy clause. No, but they go after the boys because it's the closest thing to them. It's because because, uh, you know, and a lot of them take something called salt peter to diminish their Well, that's what they gave erectile, the soldiers in World War II on the boats, uh, on the naval ships. Well, there you go. But anyway, I don't even know if they make salt you put anymore. a little salt on your pita, next thing you know, all Jed's it's a millionaire.
I know. It's it's a horrifying thing. But, but Spotlight, uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is my number six film. I happen to think Spotlight's a great I, movie. I, you but, know, it's not a bad film. It did win Best Picture yeah. in like 2015. Uh, the but thing, I don't think it was the best movie The thing of the I don't year, like you know? about this film, I just don't like about it. It's plotting, mechanical way. Once again, it's all the president's men. It's procedural. It's yeah. procedural. Yeah. It doesn't have, there's no surprises. I do love Mark Ruffalo. It's a great cat. I he's got some great scenes. Everybody's no, great in this film. No, he's great in the, he, he, yeah. he's not bad. And is I he, love Rachel McAdams. I I would boil her underwear to make soup. Would. She's a beautiful she's young wonderful. woman. I think she's a great actress she's good. too. She's wonderful. And you know, and I see. I guess I like the movie more because I love movies about journalists. Would I gargle her bath water? Would you? I would. How about her toilet water? Uh, would you go that I, far? I don't know if I After could. After a big spaghetti dinner. <laughs> oh, now you're really getting <laughs> below the belt. Yes. Get it? Below right, the belt. belt. Um, the my number six choice. Hate this movie. Oh gosh. I fucking hate this pickle. I actually like this. I film. don't like it. And here's part of the problem. No wait. There's I, male jiggle and European jiggle. I didn't jiggle. even bother with the second one because I hated the first. Oh, I like them. Here's the problem. I, I've i tried. <laughs> I don't like Rob Schneider. I, well, there you no go. No offense to the man. I no, see no, he no. works hard. No, it is an offense to the I man. I just don't like... He just doesn't do anything for me as a performer. Okay. I don't think he's particularly that great. I liked him a couple times. I thought he was funny in The Water Boy. You can do it. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, I don't like the guy that much. No, he's, he's not... Like, uh... like you hate Tony Shalhoub. I'm just not a fan of Rob Schneider. I understand. And as much as I've tried, I just never could get into him. And that movie just turned me off. He turns me off. And that movie makes me I'll tell me you one thing about that film, real. though. Uh, one thing about that movie. Uh, the girl mm. who is in this film, uh, there was a show, of course. We all know the film, the show Survivor. Yes. With Jeff, uh, what's Probst. Yes, Probst. Yeah, I yeah. watched the first. I did too. Five, six seasons. I did too. Richard Hatch was the very first he winner. He was the first winner. Uh, yes. He was the man who walked around That's the. That's right. There's a girl in that movie that was in the show, right? She's in. That's the right. The girl that was in. The, the, That's the right. Survivor. She was a love interest. She's in. I remember uh, that Male now. Gigolo. Yeah, they put she's her in that She's in movie. your Rob Schneider Male Gigolo That's movie. That's right. I remember That's that her. now. Yeah, and I she's a cutie. That. She's yeah. very sweet. And, yeah. you know, there's an innocent presence of her. She had never acted before. No. They gave her this role in this movie. I thought was she was... Was it the one... Was it Jenna Lewis? Was that her? Was it Jenna Lewis or was it the other one? No, um, no, no. I know who Jenna Lewis was. Was it her? Jenna Lewis went on to make a porn film. I know she, she did. did. make a porn did, yeah. uh, thing, but no, it was not her. She was the This was a little girl. She had short. She had short hair. If you actually watch the film that you're that you're telling us that you hated, uh, you no, I would saw know. I once in the theater. I didn't oh, like okay. It. Well, I didn't, anyway. no, I'm not going to watch it again. I hate no, it. No, no, she's very again. cute, and there's just something about her that I find very innocent. And I'll I'll find I liked right her. Now. I liked her in, in Male Gigolo. And I really liked European Gigolo, which was really yeah. stupid. But you see, I have a toleration level for Rob Schneider where you don't. I just don't And like I him. totally get it. Yeah. A lot of people, I, I, I have a good buddy. He thinks that. Uh, 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 little Nicky, uh, the Adam Sandler film. Oh, that film. was awful. He thinks Little Nicky is, is the best comedy ever made. Oh, God. He loves terrible. Adam Sandler. My friend Jason, he thinks that he thinks that's the best. He thinks it's the funniest movie made, and I just, oh, Little Nicky's on. I got to go. Oh, I got to, oh, please, you that idiot. Movie was it's just hard. Unwatchable. Fun. All right, so let's, let's go to your number own. six. We're, we're halfway through the no, show. No, we did my six. Now it's you. Oh, you're, okay. You're okay. number five. Oh, that's right. You. There you go. Here we go. Oh. The X was two. You know, I never saw number two because I heard it was terrible, so well, I'm going to waste my time. Number two is precisely yeah. where it heads. Uh, the only people who show up in this film, uh, this film was made in, hold on a second. This movie was 1977. It was six years after the first one was mm -hmm. made. Uh, Linda Blair does return as little Reagan. Uh, and uh, but um, the main girl, uh, not uh, what's her name, uh, 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 the mother, uh, played she's by. She's not back. You're saying she's not back. They they brought in Louise Fletcher to play the role from Cuckoo's Nest. Yes, Louise Fletcher comes in and she plays it. But uh, the, the main gal who plays uh, Linda Blair's mom in the first film. Yes, a very famous actress. I know. She lives um, in Nyack, New York. Ellen Burstyn. Ellen Burstyn. Yeah. And uh, but she didn't come back. They brought in Richard Burton. He's Father yeah. Martin or something. Yeah. And uh, and uh, Max von Sydow does have a cameo in this nice. film also. But uh, I do look a little like John Gotti here. There's no question about it. And they keep bringing me back in. Of course, Pacino uh, based his from, 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 well, uh, Godfather, Godfather three. three. That's because uh, Pacino did his hair like John Gotti in that film. That's what he was going for. You know, I, a lot of people hate that movie. I, I don't, hate it. Too. I don't hate Part Three. Oh, I hate it. I don't hate Godfather Three. Oh, at it's all. horrible. I, I almost like put it, it on this like list. It. That I was put on, it on a lot this of list. lists. Yeah. I, I almost put but it on I like this that list. Film. But I, I couldn't because it doesn't really make me puke. It was Colleen Haskell. That was it. Oh, she was in the Animal. Oh man. 
Olga Superfan. Yes. Thank you, Olga Superfan. You Super are fan. correct. I stand corrected. You know what's funny is that I just it looked was, that movie up and her name It was the animal. Yep, Colleen Haskell. Where very good, Olga Superfan. Oh my God! Yeah, my, she was very cute. My glasses just broke. Oh my goodness! Oh, that wasn't good. That's what's all right. You have seventy-four pairs. Well, there you pairs. go. Uh, I do have many more pair, but oh, that's a drag. Well, all right. It's funny. Her name is not listed on the IMDb for this movie. Well, there you go. Well, that's very strange. I remember her. Colleen Haas. I, I don't know where Olga Superfan got that, that yeah. info, but wherever no, no, you but did. No, but that is her. I she applaud was a, you. She I was applaud you. I forgot Olga about Olga Superfan. Haskell. Very good. Yeah. Very good indeed. But you know who is in this movie? Is his daughter in real life, Al King, that singer. Oh, really? Rob Schneider's daughter right now is a pop singer. She I was love in this film as a little girl. Oh, yeah. she's fantastic. Did you know that was his daughter? I did not know that that's was his, his daughter. daughter. Wow. Yeah. That's she sings that song, X's and O's. I love it. Yeah. Great song. All right, okay, let's but move uh, on to I didn't my... really go into uh, Exorcist 2 too much. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to uh, finish? It's really kind of a just a, a, a very blase kind of a. a it, there's just a, a few little memorable moments. It's basically set in Africa. Yeah. Uh, they did go on and do an Exorcist. I believe it was the Exorcist five three. or six or no? The Exorcist three was good. I heard that was good. It was directed by William Peter Blatty, who wrote the novel. Yes. And he did a great job, believe it or not. There were some frightening moments. Uh, Stephen Dorff was in yeah, that film. Yeah, I'd like film. to see the third one. It was a really Kind of some really spooky stuff. Stephen Dorff's crawling on a ceiling. I heard about He's that, kind of yeah. possessed by the devil, of course. But in number two, it does take into that number two essence of yeah. toilet-ridden uh, baloney uh, bullshit, as one might uh, reference. Uh, there's just nothing about it, but I do love Richard Burton. Uh, he's one of my favorite actors of all time. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, my love. Oh, to be or not to be. I was a huge Richard Burton fan back in the day. I always thought that... You know, he did a lot of bad movies, uh, you know. Well, towards the end of his career, I know he's having trouble getting a lot of work. Uh, well, you know, towards I, the end. I, I don't know if that was it, but he just would take anything. You know, Michael Caine has often said that, you know, he'll take any role as long as it's in a nice... Uh, if, if they're going to send him to, to Jamaica to make a movie, he'll go there just to just to go for the ride, yeah, 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 here, you know. Yeah. And if they're going to pay me to go live in Jamaica for, for four months while they're whatever, making yeah. Jaws the Revenge, yeah. I'll go. But uh, The Exorcist is just a horrible piece of junk, and, and that's why it's never, it's, it's always on the worst list of all time. And uh, I have to say, it's just a hunk of garbage. Let's take okay. it, Chris. My number, number five. five is going to be a shocker, probably. Oh. How the Grinch Stole Christmas with uh, Jim Carrey, The Grinch. Uh, it wasn't that bad. Uh, no, it's not a bad film, but here's the reason why I hate this movie. I love Jim Carrey, one of my favorite actors. Me I too. love the guy. Okay. And he does what he can with this movie, and he does a good job. But I hate the performance. I hate his interpretation of the Grinch. It's just uh, the makeup is Wasn't ugly to me. Isn't that a Ron Howard film? Yes, it's a Ron Howard movie. Just the movie is aesthetically ugly for me. Okay. And I just remember just aesthetically ugly. As, looking at the movie was ugly. It was aesthetically no aesthetically. It's Aesthet beautiful looking. No aesthetics mean you're talking about the. The, the, the look. Display, the look. Strictly the it's look. Aesthetically, we are ugly aesthetically to me. sitting in a blank studio with many lights. Uh, there is uh, the aesthetic look here is strictly the physical look. Yeah, I'm That's saying this movie is. is physically ugly for me to look at. Really? Anytime the Grinch the is colors, on screen, okay. I find it to be ugly. The character looks no, ugly to me. No, the character is ugly to you. Yeah, but his, that's, looking that's at more him, of a spiritual thing than an aesthetic thing. No, but looking at him is ugly. The, the aesthetics of the makeup is ugly for me. I don't like how it looks. Uh, it's just an unpleasant performance. Uh, I just okay. don't like looking at well, it. Well, you realize it's just, you know, it's a Christmas carol, basically. No, I know, all, I know. I'm not, I, I love the original shit. cartoon. Okay. I just didn't care for this movie. I didn't like it. I thought it was unpleasant. I was in the theater feeling it You're was unpleasant. You're a strange one, yes, Mr. Yeah. Grinch. And now they have another one coming out with them, Benedict Cumberbatch doing The Boys, which oh, could really? be kind of cool. Well, actually. that might be interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't like that film once well, well, Obviously. Yeah. So I saw it the I, one I time. I wouldn't go into the puke fest of our <laughs> like current like show, I though, on that. that uh, okay, all right, Didn't fair enough. All right, so let's go to uh, my number four. I have three films up there, Lady in ah. Water, The Village, and The Happening. There you go. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan, to me, is the just... Uh, of garbage. He's just absolute horrifying. Uh, there is our lovely uh, uh, Dallas Bryce Howard, though, yes. there in The Lady in the Water. Yes. Uh, and, and that movie had some crazy you know, ideas going on. That movie was so horrifying. All it was was uh, Excalibur, basically. Kind of. Set in a lake. Uh, you know, set this lady in is in pool. the I, yeah, set in the swimming pool. Of a, of an apartment the complex. worst part about this film, though, for me, was that M. Night Shyamalan cast himself as the superintendent of the building. I know. And, yeah, and he's constantly a, acting. He's almost smirking role. through the whole film. Yeah. I just found him so repulsive. I know. That film of all three, yeah. The Village, I didn't even mind so much. 
I was the actually villain. on board with the village you until know, the ending that me I didn't too. care for. Me it. too. Yeah. When we, uh, you know, William Hurt's in the village, Sigourney Weaver's yeah, in the it's village. Got a good cast. It's not a bad film. It, it's got, uh, uh, I believe, Joaquin Dallas Phoenix. Bryce once yeah, again is in, in the there film. Again. He must have been good friends with Ron Howard, and he says, Do you mind if I use your daughter to be in my movie? And, and well, Ron village said, came sure. First. Yeah, sure. You exactly. Know. The village came well, first. Well, that was her big break, that movie. Exactly. It was. The village came first, and then came and then uh, Lady that, in the Water. Uh, Lady After in the Water, that. and then The Happening. And then The Happening. They, all three of them suck donkey yeah. balls. Let's be honest. They got worse. They're horrifying films. Yeah. He just, you know, I will say this. He, he came from, you know, the brilliance that is The Sixth Sense. I know. just baffles me that this man made such a great film. I know. I mean, a, a shocking movie. It was one of the best endings of any yeah. film that we had seen in such a long time. It was really one of the first films to reference the fact that everyone on screen is dead. Yeah. That, that has kind of been, I wouldn't say it's been run to death. But many filmmakers have continued to use that, that well, there was a movie called The Others, yes. which I believe you have not seen. Correct. But it kind of reverses the whole thing. Uh, <clears throat> and I don't want to give it away yeah, to you, away. but I've already done that. I've already given it away yes. to you. So I've already ruined the film for Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. So I want to thank everyone here for allowing me to do that, to ruin the movie for my friend. I'm never going to watch it anyway. But he's never going to watch it anyway. So no. then let me tell you what it is. We meet Nicole Kidman and her kids. They're living in an old Civil War home. And they're being, they're being attacked. They're being scared to death by these creatures, these people that are coming in. But, of course, we find out at the end of the film that Nicole and her kids are the ghosts. Ah. They're the ghosts, but they don't know they're dead. I see. So we took the whole essence of The Sixth Sense and we reversed it. Yes. Where Bruce Willis uh, and everybody who hasn't well, seen... Yeah, well, if you haven't alert. seen The Sixth Sense by now, then you, you don't even deserve to be sitting here watching this. But um, yeah, thank you for fixing the problem. Oh, nobody could hear the show. You're having a problem with the show. There's a loud noise that is drowning out well, the show. Well, maybe it's just me. I am a loud noise, and I, I do drown out the show. But uh, anyway, uh, oh, we're, that's terrible. thank you, Mick Pick, whoever you Thank you, you for are. letting us know about that. Thank you, Mick Pick. Thank Who's you. Mick Pick, anyway? I don't know. Isn't that a character from somewhere? Maybe I don't Mick Pick. Mick Pick, I don't know. Yeah, Mick Pick. Uh, well, know. all right. All right. Let's, so let's not nitpick the whole essence. Uh, just those three films, they're just god awful. They're not I great. have to say, of the three, I hate The Lady in Water the most. Uh, the Happening, I could tolerate because I think Mark Wahlberg. And who's the girl in The Happening? You recall? Yeah, is that um, uh, the, 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 the Zoe Deschanel? Uh, it is Zoe. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And I think they have a good chemistry together. Okay. I think that the film actually, until we hit the, the, the buffoonery of the ending, the, the trees are now killing people. I, I think that the film is not really not horrible. I saw it in the theater. So did I. And I, I saw all three of those movies in the I theater. I did too, yeah. and I tried to enjoy them for what they were worth. You know what, worth. the thing about Lady in the Water, the reason that I didn't have that as, as worse than the happening is... Oh, it's so, so far worse. Well, here's the reason I didn't do it, is because I enjoyed Paul Giamatti in that film. Okay. I like him a lot. I mean, he's generally one of my favorite actors anyway. Yeah. So I think my admiration for Paul Giamatti... I wonder if I can just use half of made this. ...made me kind of... Um, you look arr, like um, you look like what's his name? Um, uh, Josh Brolin in Deadpool with the one eye. Oh, there you go. A little bit. Um, anyway, arr, matey. Yeah, I lost my train of thought. Let's move you on. Did. I think your caboose has been derailed, to, my uh, friend. Yeah, you totally, All right, so, uh, you totally threw me off with that. You're um, number four, if you will. Number four, please, folks. Let's go to the picture. This movie sucks. What Almost the heroes. hell is this? Almost oh, how can you hate anything Chris, with Chris, though? This movie is god-awful. Chris Farley, Matthew Perry, directed by Christopher Guest. This really? movie was unfunny from beginning to end. I'd like to, to see end. it now. It's Chris Farley's last film, unfortunately. Oh, it? May oh. he rest in peace. Yes. This movie is horrible. Wow, what a shame. It's not funny. Eugene Levy's in this film at all. I mean, it's so bad. I love bad. Chris Farley, though. Uh, yeah, but this movie's not good. There's so many scenes in this movie that are just not funny. They're just, they're so not funny that it makes you angry. Yeah, but humor is, a, humor is very objective, no, my in son. In the movie, all the characters are supposed to be like these pioneers who are, you know, gold rush kind of a thing. And they're hard up, you know, so, you know, usually these guys will want to, you know, find a woman so they can have some, some, some sex, right? So in this movie, all the characters fall in love with these straw dolls. 
Oh, that's really? funny. That's so funny. Straw dolls. Literally straw dolls. And they're like, oh, she's mine. Straw would be rather it's not funny. painful, though, I would think. It was not funny Believe at me, all. Wait a I've tried straw. And these poor actors have to sit there and try to sell this material to no, the I audience. I see. All right, very it's well. It's not a good movie. It's terrible. All right, very well. Go but let us move it. on, okay? I'm sorry that you don't like that, but I'm going to go back and check that film out. I've never seen Watch it. Watch it. You'll find it. Just Christopher Guest alone, or, you know, the man from that's Spinal Tap. That's why it's a shame, because the guy's I love right. Christopher Guest. This movie's uh, terrible. I mean, he's done so many waiting for. Uh, Guffman. Guffman is I a love great film. Best in Show. Best in Show. Spinal I mean, Tap. I gotta, mean, well, he didn't direct that. Rob Reiner did. I know, but, but he's great in that. He's as, great as in as the film, but uh, very true. He, well, he helped write it. He was a co-writer of Spinal Tap. I think Tap. he did. Yeah. Well, I think they all did. Yeah, they the all creative voice. Sir, Michael so McKean, that's everybody. That's why I included him there. Oh, you know, know Harry Shearer uh, just put out a new album. <clears throat> he did. Uh, yeah, he put out a new album as his character from Spinal that's, that's Tap, kind of funny. And, uh, and it's called uh, Dirk McQuigley or some horrible. Oh my God! It says a horrible. I bought the the CD. It's just horrible. You're part of the problem. <laughs> I, I may be part of the problem, but you know, I was really. I love the the original Spinal Tap music. Yeah, uh, I really do. Big Bottom and. Mm. Uh, you know, the better the cushion, the yeah, better the, the push. push it. Yes. I mean, it was hilarious. No, I sink her. I sink her. Her love meat with my pink torpedo. I mean, come that on. There's classic lines in that. It truly did. Let's go to Daryl's number three, ladies and gentlemen. Here it comes, the room. Mr. Tommy Wiseau. There he is, uh, doing it's a very a fine impression. <laughs> of uh, of our beloved, uh, uh, not, not Dave, but his brother, uh, Franco who James goes Franco. on to play yes. Tommy in, in the, the new film, The Disaster Artist. artist. Yes. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, I, I think James Franco did a, a really extraordinary he did a great job. job. But let me say one thing about this movie. In fact, let me just give my general reason for it being truly one of my puke fest. Just you know, uh, my puke fest, uh, uh, my number three, as it now is. And the reason being is that in The Disaster Artist, there is a showing of the room yes. where an entire audience is sitting there laughing hysterically. Yeah. Now, you've seen The Room. I've seen this movie for did, years. Okay. Did the, did the Room make you laugh hysterically ever? Not hysterically, but my friends and I have been watching this movie for years. Yeah, I've been fun with it. You might just... Okay, it may be something to sit around with a bunch of guys and, and just a poke yeah. and goof on it. Yeah, that's what we but do. There's but it's nothing, not a laugh-out-loud funny. It's not no. a laugh-out-loud funny no. like they kind of emulated in the disaster no, but artist. apparently that really happened. I can't imagine for yeah, the life of me. It's just such a god-awful film. It's terrible, but... He's horrible. It's Everybody's horrible I've in the movie. had a lot of fun watching it on numerous occasions, and uh, so I, I, it's I watched terrible... It. But it's very entertaining on a I terrible I watched level. it after the making of the, after seeing The Disaster yeah. Artist. I went back, obviously. Oh, I wish you watched it in reverse. It's been given a whole new life through The yeah. Disaster Artist, and really rightly has. so, because uh, James and Dave uh, captured uh, the essence of uh, the gist of the room. But mm -hmm. I found it just horrifying. I didn't find it funny. I didn't, I just found it repulsive to watch. It's terrible. His character I mean, is repulsive. Everything's it's so repulsive poorly about written, it. I never, so poorly acted. I may have laughed once or twice, but... I mean, Plan 9 from Outer Space is genius compared to that hunk I of junk. I, I mean, and Plan 9 and Glenn and Glenda, some of those know, old movies that, uh, that, you know, that, that, by, that Ed uh, Wood that made. Ed Wood, yeah. But, oh, my God, I, I, I can't give, I, I, I mean, I, the room just really makes me Tommy just Wiseau was so gag inept. in my gut. He shot the movie on two formats. I know. Because he didn't know which one would be better. I know. He spent all his freaking money. He spent like $5 million it's on amazing. cameras alone. I know. It's crazy. Just to try and to get the, the right out of So if we cannot do it that way, we will do it this way. And then after the movie Horrifying. got a profile, he has the gall to say, well, that was my intention to make a comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, exactly. Buddy. No, he no, thought no. he was making he's, Citizen he's Kane. He's a deeply disturbed guy. He's and terrible. I hear he's making a new film now, so we all have that to look forward to. All right, Chris, yeah. let's all have right, your let's number three. Let's go to the next one, number three. Oh my God! One of the worst films ever made, the Garbage Pail Kids movie. No, oh, gee, it is an utter I, I've never piece seen this of film. garbage. You need to watch it. You want to see? <coughs> Excuse me. You want to see something utterly ugly, utterly repulsive? Just is it aesthetically repulsive? It's too? beyond aesthetically repulsive. It's just so. Just an ugly movie from beginning to end. The makeup effects of these characters. This is a movie based on the trading cards, Garbage Pail Kids, oh, okay. which in itself was a joke making fun of Cabbage Patch Kids right. in the 1980s. 
Now, Ladies and gentlemen, I want to stop the show movie, just for a brief moment. I want to, I want to just, <clears throat> I want to give a brief round of applause. Thank you. To my buddy Chris here. He's trying not to get me sick. Because I don't want to hear about it for Therefore, seven weeks. he's wearing this. Man. If I get him sick, this ball buster will be busting my balls <laughs> forever. Wearing, oh, I'm so he's sick. Wearing this oh, I'm so sick. Yeah, but no, no. I'm not so sick because I'm, <laughs> I'm making, I'm complaining. I'm really sick. I know, but you I complain. Got about, really everybody sick. gets sick. No, yeah, but I get sick for six weeks. Ebola eight weeks. patients having to complain as much as you do no, about no, a cold. No, no, I get sick. I'm I'm out of communication for about eight weeks. Well, it just attacks it me like the virus that it is. Too. It's like the black That's plague. That's why I'm wearing this freaking thing. Well, and I just want to. I want to, you to get I sick. want to applaud you, and I thank you. The last thing I want to do is get you sick. Thank you, Mick Pick. I know you're applauding at home, and you too, Olga Superfan. Yes. Where the hell is our 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 wonder? He's what? Owner? Is he's he? MIA. I don't know where he is. He's MIA. Where are you, O-Nerd? Please come back. If you're there, show yourself. Yeah, yeah, show yourself. Um, but yeah, back to Garbage Spiel, kids. This movie's an atrocity. Really? It was so bad, the theater pulled it only after like a few, uh, I don't even think it made like a couple weeks in the theater. They pulled okay. it right away. Well, many films don't last two weeks in the theater. Because... But this one, they were getting complaints. It was so unpleasant. It really? just sucks. Okay. But you have to watch it because it's so bad, it makes you angry. There's nothing enjoyable about this movie. I don't know if any movie could actually make me angry. It's so bad. Yeah. It's so bad it makes you angry. Okay. I think you should watch it. It's a piece of garbage. All right. You really well, should. Well, there you go. All right, Continue let's go to my that. number two. Here we go, Enemy Mine. You know what's funny about this movie? Nothing. I came close to almost putting it on my list, but I this didn't. This film is so horrible. It's 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 so unpleasant to look at him. It, as, Lewis Gossett as that alien. Lewis Gossett. When he gives birth, oh, oh, it's please, unpleasant. Please, please. Well, every time he's, you know, there, this is on the planet Draco. Yes, yes. And he's a draconian. Yes. Lou Gossett Jr. Of course, there, there's an original friction yes. between him and Dennis they, Quaid. They hate each other. Yeah, right. the And they give each other, each other names. Uh, Dennis Quaid is, uh, is Davidian. And uh, they call uh, Lou Gossett's character's name Jerry. Yes. So, uh, and of course, uh, there's this whole thing. But every time Lou Gossett Jr. eats, like he's like... I know the lips, the lips, yeah. It's the lips yeah. and this whole, this whole, this whole. It's orally and visually and when talks, like, disgusting. When he talks, like, brrr, yeah, yeah, it's, weird, yeah, it's yeah, disgusting. Yeah, it's like you, it's like your 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 pet lizard yeah. is is yeah. is, is self-ingesting itself. It's just this. It's uh, unpleasant. Constant it smacking it's really and makeup. It's horrifying. But, no, no. The makeup I thought was probably the best thing about the film. The film no, is no, a. No, no. Look, it's good. Aesthetically, it's good no, it's a good makeup job. But I mean, is it produces an unpleasant result? Well, it's an ugly looking alien. No, no, no. No, I didn't think he was <laughs> ugly looking. In fact, if you turn the sound down, me. this movie is actually digestible. It is the, well, the, that's why I didn't put it on here. The puke factor comes to like just in the, uh, the the puke factor comes in the the whole essence of the, this character created by Lou Gossett. Okay. He's unisexual, which means he has sex. He's like a seahorse. He impregnates himself. Yeah, he does. It's eight forty, so we got to quick speed this up. Oh, I thought it was eight thirty-five. Eight, yeah, but they're telling me it's eight forty on their end. Well, so. it's only eight thirty-seven is right. the actual right, we're gonna time. We're going to rush through this. We're going to try and rush through very quickly. Right. But enemy mind, just a yeah. horrifying film. And I love Dennis Quaid, and I love Lou Gossett Jr. And I give them credit but man, for this something movie, different with this movie. I, I know, I know, they did. But yeah. when he gives birth and then he I dies, it's horrible, it's horrible, he yeah. dies giving birth, and, and then, then the, baby, the baby, the baby yeah. comes. Oh, it looks like the baby from our skit. It counts like the baby that from our skit from Walmart. Okay. Okay. Number one, go for it. I didn't even do my number two. Oh, do number two. All right, number two, real quick. Little Monsters. This movie's horrible. Oh, well, that looks it's bad. It's an ugly movie. How Mandel plays this monster. It's basically, it wants to be something like Gremlins, but it's nowhere near yeah, that. Okay. It's an ugly movie. You've chosen His some makeup really, is ugly. Uh, you've chosen films that nobody even knows about. People know these movies. I Nobody does. You don't. I know these movies. Yeah, but I should because I, I'm, you know, I, I know a lot of films, but you're not going for commercial hits. You're going for real. I went with Batman and Robin, commercial. English places, commercial. Well, yes, Daniel yes, yes. Dern. But that your last three movie. films that 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 yeah, Chris, but I'm not gonna just that put Chris Farley movies on there. All right, we're wasting time. These were all review your movie. Review your movie. Out. Okay, you, you don't like the film. I'm not gonna make up Little movies Monsters. just to be commercial. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I literally had to think of movies Stop. that I fucking hate. Okay. And I hate fucking Little Monsters. Okay. It's a piece of shit. Okay. And it's an ugly movie to watch. It's aesthetically ugly. It's horrible. All right, there you the go. The makeup is so unpleasant to look at. But I give Harlan Del credit because he plays a role that makes you feel something. 
That's but I mean. hate it. You know, I love Howie Mandel. I do too. too. But I think he's it's great. It's just an ugly movie. And he's on Go tonight. To number one. He's on tonight, as a matter of fact, in the in uh, in America's Got Talent. Yes. I always watch. Okay, let's go to number one, ladies and gentlemen. My number one, my most gargantuan film. That is such a milk toast choice for number one. That's just oh no, no! This comes down to. I know it's terrible. But that's such it a. It is horrible. It is a putrid. You can hate fact. something more than this. No, I don't. I I hate this movie. I didn't even bother. You know what it is? I think it's Mariah Carey. Here is a woman who has filled her body with helium and fix a flat. Her whole face, she's just one. You know, she used to be a beautiful girl. She, she used to be, uh, she, she was discovered by a Columbia executive by the name of Tony Matola. Uh, and he married her, first her right? album, yeah. Uh, her first album was actually very good. She can sing. She's, she's, she, there's just an innocence, a prettiness about her. And then she suddenly begins to take herself so seriously. I think she's just really the metamorphosis of the, 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 the inane, the inane and innocence that is youth and then suddenly to become famous and then to just inject yourself <laughs> to alter your appearance into this god-awful facade of of just pure pure total the facade is also a word but facade but yes facade I'll, is the term you were going for I uh, may, well facade I, I think you're right I think it's it is facade. it is facade uh, forgive me I'm sorry usually linguistically sound I am no, I've always no, been always. A, I, and and most of my Here we go. I know most what of my say. ladies know I am a cunning linguist yes, you are. so but uh, but you know uh, I must be all honest uh, it's just a I, I, I don't really hate the movie so much as much as I, I just really don't like, like her in that. Mariah. Yeah, no, no, it's her. It, the metamorphosis of the person that she has now become. Okay. I, I can, you can kind of see it in this film. It's based on a young girl yes. who is, uh, she's with a specific guy, they're, they're lovers, etc. And then she becomes famous and she kind of like dumps him and then yeah. I think at the end of the film she goes back to him I because think Roger that's... Ebert said that movie you, the, the, the movie is summed up if you take the G off the title yeah litter that's what he said <laughs> it's, yeah. it's really just one of the worst movies ever it's not and great I she's horrible and let me tell you something when this movie came out in the United States this movie came out in 2001 I remember when it came okay, out it, it came out in 2001 thing. okay no this movie domestically in the United States we are four million dollars yeah the worldwide gross, worldwide gross for glitter, $5 million. It's terrible. It's depressing. $5 That's million. Dollars. That's right, horrible. We move on. Last film, my number one is The Pest with John Leguizamo. Oh, He's my terrible. God. This movie made me hate John Leguizamo. This yeah, but movie, you love him now again. I don't like him at all. Oh, I never John liked Wick? Him. Come on. He's great. He's okay. Though. He's made some good films since, but I still yes. don't like him. I just... Have you ever seen this film? Have you seen this movie? I, I've never even heard of these films. These are all 90s movies, a lot of these. Oh, You've got to no, watch this movie. Where did you it find the these most, films? I saw this in the theater. It is the most oh, you annoying. Did. Yes, I did. I saw it in the Popton Lakes, New Jersey movie theater, the best. 1997 that came out. Oh, you're a shame. His you're, you're, movie. You his disappoint movie. me. You disappoint me. Why? You know what? No matter what I pick, you're not no, going to like it anyway. No, that's not true. I just wanted it's, you to. I thought you'd got to pick something, movies that, that we could all hate together. No, I can't I'm, hate yeah, that. I know. But I hate this movie. That's why I picked all right, it. All right, all right. I'm not no. just going to pick some no, you're arbitrary entitled. movie to you're be entitled. commercial. You're entitled. This okay. movie is so annoying. He is so annoying in this movie. The whole opening scene. It's called The Pest. It's him singing in the what shower. What do you watch? Yeah, but it's really annoying. Watch this it's movie. It's called The Pest. It's so it's shitty. not called Really Annoying. It's called The Pest. Yeah, but it, it really worked because I don't like him because of this movie. Anyway. Anyway, ladies and That's gentlemen. That's our show, folks. We're being hooked off the... Uh, off they're they're taking hot. off our... Uh, we're being alleviated until next well, week. Well, show to do. We so. shall return. So <clears throat> See you guys next week. We bid you all we'll adieu. We'll be covering Jurassic World and, uh, a lot There more. you go. If I could only do the Vulcan. I can do it. Can you? There oh, you go. Yeah. Uh, there, there we go. A little yeah. victory. Uh, little victory. I can't do it with my left hand, though, really. A little all bit. All right, folks. We leave you now. <laughs> we bid you adieu See to you, you and you and you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,